Today, Monday, November 9, 2020, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of 10 new cases of COVID-19. The total number of cases diagnosed in country to date now totals 141. Case number 132 is a 28-year-old female from the Miko district. Case number 133 is a 29-year-old male from the Viewfort district. Case number 134 is a 22-year-old female from the Castries district. Case number 135 is a 15-year-old male from the Denry district. Case number 136 is a 55-year-old male from the Grosile district. Case number 137 is a 68-year-old female from the Grosile district. Case number 138 is a 48-year-old male from the Grosile district. Case number 139 is a 47-year-old female from the Babono district. Case number 140 is a 21-year-old male from the Viewfort district. Case number 141 is a 29-year-old female from the Sufre district. All of the cases following being tested for COVID-19 were placed in quarantine to await their test results. Eight of these cases were identified through the contact tracing process and epidemiological links have been established for these eight. Cases number 133 and 140 are linked to case number 89. Case number 134 is linked to case number 97. Case number 135 is linked to case 86. Case number 136 is linked to case 113. And cases 137 and 138 are linked to case number 120. Case number 139 is linked to case number 100. As per protocol, these individuals have been placed in isolation. These new cases now bring the total number of active cases currently in country to 109. At present, one of the active cases is in critical care and all of the other active cases are stable. As testing for COVID-19 continues and cases are being diagnosed, it is important to note that a wide range of ages and communities are being impacted across the island. This virus is new to our population and as such, we all have no immunity to the virus, making us as a nation highly vulnerable to infection. This requires us doing all of the necessary measures to minimize our exposure to the virus. Though everyone is at risk, the elderly, people who are obese, as well as persons living with conditions such as hypertension, diabetes, asthma, and other chronic illnesses need to be particularly careful. It is important that we all make every effort to practice the daily guidelines for infection prevention and control, which include regular hand washing with soap and water or the use of alcohol-based hand sanitizer when hand washing is not possible, wearing a face mask when in public and ensures that it covers your nose and mouth, maintain the six foot physical separation from others, which is about two arms length apart, and to seek medical care if experiencing respiratory symptoms, which include fever, cough, shortness of breath, and sore throat. Also, avoid contact with persons who are experiencing respiratory signs and symptoms. All of those practices, when done, will significantly reduce the likelihood of being infected with the virus. As usual, the Ministry of Health will provide daily updates as information is available.